Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. Mixtral MOE model has been really impressing a lot of people. While people are still figuring out what is the best way to deploy it, there are certain options like AWS and Docker. I wanted to show you in this video how you can use it without having to deploy it yourself. Like if you're play, paying for a ChatGPT Plus uh, without using DALI or Code Interpreter, I think this is a really, really great alternative. And I want you to explore this opportunity to practice with Mixtral and then see if this is for you. So the interface that we're going to look at today is called Hugging Chat. If you're not familiar with Hugging Chat, Hugging Chat is a chat interface, very similar like ChatGPT. And it is kind of like sponsored or run by Hugging Face, the company that hosts all the models. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Mixtral on hugging chat and we are also going to see certain options what you can do which is very similar like chat gpt to start with when you go to hf.co slash chat you would come and reach this interface once you reach here you can you have an option to log in but you can also use this without logging in if you log in then you have this uh, chat history and all the other stuff but if you don't log in you can still go here select this gear icon and select the right model that you want. Like for example, in my particular case, I want to use the Mixtral MOE model, which is an Instruct fine-tuned model here. So Mixtral MOE is in two forms. One is the base model, the 8x7b base model. The second one is the Instruct model, which is fine-tuned for instruction following. I'm going to click that model and I'm going to select activate the model. So once I activate the model, you can see that the model has been activated here. And the good thing here is just like how you do with chat GPT, you can also set a system prompt. For example, I can say, can um, pretend that you are a data analyst and always help me with my problems, something like this and close this and come back here. And then you can just say, uh, how do I import import a CSV in pandas and convert all string to numbers? It's a terrible question, but you can basically you will get an idea about how it works. You can see here it says using custom system prompt and you can see that it is already starting to answer your questions and it is giving you the code and it is in fact giving you the function that you can use to convert all the uh, string into a number number or numeric value. I mean, there are a lot of different ways to do it. You can do this. This is quite impressive. Um, first of all, Mixtral is super impressive. For example, I can give you an example. Let me remove the custom prompt. If you have not seen my Mixtral test video, strongly encourage you to go see it because I was absolutely blown away by what Mixtral can do. So you can go here, click settings, click Mixtral, remove the system prompt, reset and activate the model. Model is active, close it, come back. And this is the question that I want to ask. Click a new chart. And uh, this is a question. I've not seen any open model solving it correctly. Except GPT-4, I have not seen a single model solving it correctly. Same question, send it. And you can see it says, Sally has one sister. Because Sally has one sister and each brother has two sisters and how many sisters Sally has. So Sally is one girl and she has another sister. It, you, you might feel that this is a simpler question, but I have not seen any LLM solving this. And this seems like, a real turning point in how we see LLMs. And uh, I believe that the MOE approach with Mixtral and whatever that extra fine tuning that they've done with the latest 7 billion parameter model might have really contributed to this. So if you want to use Mixtral 8X7B MOE model, then the best way for you to do is come to Hugging Face Chat. The couple of other features that Hugging Face Chat can also offer you is it can also help you augment internet data. So for example, you can search for web and then you can ask questions like 
who won the recent um, let's say uh, bbl match bbl is a cricket tournament that is happening in australia it stands for a big bash league so typically if you ask this question to chat gpt it would probably give you something from 2021 to 2022 unless until you have got the bing search enabled you can see that it actually kind of goes to the internet gets the data for you augments it and gives you back it also comes with a dark theme and a light theme so if you are a fan of dark theme and light theme you can use it but i think the biggest advantage is like having the ability to use mixtel and maybe you can cancel your $25 or $20 chat gpt plus subscription if you are not using let's say code interpreter or dali like i still keep it like as a disclaimer i'm still using chat gpt plus because i primarily need dali because i use dali for a lot of thumbnail ideas and code interpreter sometimes you know here and there converting certain uh, file types but if you are not going to use any of those things i think using hugging chat with mixtel could could be like a really great option and it's not just this model you have a bunch of other models for you to use it but like i said like this is one of the best model that are that is currently available and uh, if you are not using this model probably you know there is no other model that would give you as good as result as mixtel 8x7 billion instruct moe model so i hope this video was helpful to you in learning how to use mixtel on hugging chat probably the easiest shortest video i've made if you have any question let me know in the comment section see you in another video happy prompting